So let's look what will happen if we have our n to be among negative integer as well as rational number. For this case, we have another special formula for it, which is 1 plus which is 1 plus ax to power of n, where 1 here is always consistent, but you can have anything on the right one with x as the unknown. And then n is up, made up from negative integer as well as rational. So the formula should be 1 plus n in the bracket ax, follows by n in the bracket n minus 1 over 2 factorial. Note that if you have 2 factorial here, your ax would, it would be to the power of 2 here. And then followed by n, n minus 1 times n minus 2 over with 3 factorial. So now it's ax power of 3 and so on. Okay, and then this one is valid for only modulus ax less than 1. So this is what we call as validity. Alright, so hence, let's look into our first example, example 14. So we have two tasks here, which the first task is find the first four terms in the expansion and state the values of x for which this expansion is valid so means that this is our second task all right so let's look into our first task first if we have 1 plus x to power of 1 over 4 first thing first always take out all the information that you have so our ax here is x our n should be 1 over 4 okay that's it eh? So, A here is basically 1. So, substitute into the formula. Now, we would have 1 is consistent over that. So, your N is 1 over 4 times with X straight away. And then plus with 1 over 4. Okay, make it as bracket because it's a fraction. Just to be extra careful. So 1 over 4 minus 1 over with 2 factorial. So now x is to the power of 2 plus with 1 over 4 times with 1 over 4 minus 1 times with also 1 over 4 minus with 2. The whole thing here will be over with 3 factorial. And then x go power of 3. Plus with, because we only need first 4 terms. Means that we have 1, 2, 3, 4 already terms. Huh? So just plus dot dot dot. Means it would have a continuous terms at the back. That, but we don't really need it at the moment. Okay. So simplify this whole thing. You would have 1 plus x over 4. And then this one, just use your calculator. That should be 1 over 4 times with negative 3 over 4. And then this should be negative 3 over 16. But then we got 2 factorial here. So that should be negative 3 over... 32 and then we have minus that so we would have minus 3 over 32 of x square and then followed by so when you have 1 over 4 times 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 minus 2 okay calculate into your calculator because this whole thing is already negative 3 over 16 and then this one is negative 7 over 4 and then we have 6 over here to cross this out you would have 2 over there so 16 times 8 128 so minus minus should be plus so 7 over 128 of x cubed plus dot 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 
Okay, so regarding the validity, because we need to refer to the modulus of AX less than 1, so just take your AX here, which is X only. So our validity should be for modulus of X less than 1. So open this up according to your absolute values properties before. We have the negative part uh, first and then another part here. So it should be in between negative 1 and 1. So this is the range of X that is valid yeah, for our expansion. Okay guys, so move on to our example B over here. So the same goes with what we had in A. We would also use the formula of 1 plus AX, none other than because we have n to be a negative integers over there. Negative 2 is among negative integers. So we got no option except for this formula. But then please note that on your left over here in the bracket, it should be 1. But now we have 2, right? So our focus for that two should be, we would have to make it as one. So meaning we have to factorize. So factorize two, we would have one plus with x over two. Okay, but beware that we still have power of negative two outside. So hence, what will happen to this? The power of negative 2 would be shared by both of this, which is 2 also would have power of negative 2. And then the whole thing, the bracket should have 1 plus with x over 2 power with negative 2 as well. Okay, please remember your indices rule. Alright, so outside here, straight away, we would have 1 over 4. And then in this large bracket there, we would want to use the formula. Okay, so take out your AX and take out your N. So now we would have our AX to be X over 2. So our A is 1 over 2 actually. And then our N is none other than negative 2. Okay, so now follows the formula again. So 1 plus n a x. So your n is negative. Please be careful. Put it in the bracket. x over 2. First four term, terms also. Eh? So we need to expand this up till to power of 3. So again plus with negative 2. But then we have negative 3 because it's minus 1 already over with 2 factorials of x over 2 to power of 2. Okay. And then followed by negative 2 times with negative 3 and then times with negative 4 over with 3 factorials. And here we have x over 2 to power of 3. And then plus with dot dot dot. Uh. 1 over 4, just bring that along. And then this one, we have to simplify that further. We would have 1 minus with x. And then careful, this is 6. And then divides by 2, that would be 3. But here got 1 over 4, isn't it? So plus with 3 over 4 of x squared. And then here got 6 times by negative 4. It should be negative 24 okay so over here all together that should be negative 24 divided by 6 so that should be negative 4 but still you have 8 over there so minus with 1 over 2 of x cubed plus with dot 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 again okay here please do not leave out 1 over 4 so 1 over 4 times in with each of the terms inside the bracket. So it would be 1 over 4 minus with because it's expansion. We shouldn't have any more bracket. So here is 1 over 4x plus with 3 over 16x squared minus with 1 over 8x cubed. So in this loveliest situation, we have our 4 
our first four terms huh? but then don't forget the validity so for validity of taking your ax now your ax should be this one the x over 2 isn't it okay so x over 2 modulus will be less than 1 but even more proper if you open this up so x over 2 now should be in between negative 1 and 1 so hence having x as the subject in the middle negative 2 up until 2 okay so that's the answer for our validity okay move on to our next example so here if you are not so clear with the form here i would advise you to actually change this into our rational formula first which is 1 over 2 okay and then again although it's gonna use the formula of 1 plus ax and then because of the power it is in a rational number okay but then we need to make 1 at our right here first so 4 outside there so now we would have 1 minus with x over 4 okay because we are living for outside but then do not forget we still have half at the outside of it okay so half is for 4 and for this bracket as well so we would have set 4 together with 1 minus x over 4 half okay so here is where we want to use the formula so taking it up our a should be sorry our ax should be negative x over 4 okay and our n should be half okay compare with the original form so now just bring along your set 4 which is 2 okay so open a blush bracket like this we would have 1 plus with n a x so half of negative x over 4 plus with n times n minus 1 should be half half minus 1 over with 2 factorials the whole thing a x would be to the power of 2 and then plus with half half minus 1 as well as half minus 2 the whole thing here divides by 3 factorial and then don't forget times with negative x over 4 cube and then plus with dot 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 okay because we only need up to 4 terms only alright so simplify everybody's in 2 is still outside 1 should be minus with 1 over 8 of x and then here should be negative 1 over 4 so therefore negative 1 over 8 but then don't forget you have 16 over that negative times with positive because negative squared is positive anyway so negative 1 over 8 times with positive 1 over 16 we would have minus 1 over 128 of x squared and then at the end of this it should be negative 1 over 4 and here is negative 3 over 2 so here should be 6 this one got 6 already so 6 divides by 3 here should be 1 and 2 so we have positive of 1 over 16 but then we have to times that in with the 1 in the bracket there so that one should be minus of 1 over 1024 x cubed so plus dot 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 but don't forget you have to times by 2 outside so that should be 2 minus with 1 over 4x minus with 1 over 64x square and then minus with 1 over 
512 of x cube plus dot 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 okay so as usual so as usual you also need the validity so for validity since we have our ax is negative x over 4 so it should be negative x over 4 modulus less than 1 okay but then we have a negative here negative when you modulus that that should be positive as well so we would have the same thing as modulus of x over 4 less than 1 okay so if you open this up that should be no more modulus left with x over 4 in the middle greater than negative 1 but less than 1 okay make x as the subject you would have negative 4 up until 4 right so this should be your answer okay guys so see you in the next video hopefully this is useful for you bye bye